Hello, just a really quick video. I'm ever so busy at the moment with a soundtrack project for a video game. As you can see, I've got all the keyboards, the sampler, a Commodore, uh, the stylophone there, which has been repaired. I need to do a follow up video to that. Um, but I've spotted something quite odd on this. This is a Yamaha PSS 780 uh, 1989 um, keyboard. And when I got this, I, typical of me, I bought this broken. Um, and it had got the DC jack on the back completely smashed off it. Uh, I've put a brand new uh, socket actually fitted to the chassis and I had to completely rebuild um, that corner of the uh, circuit board because uh, the whole circuit board was completely smashed. I'll include a few pictures that I took of the process um, just here. But something I spotted with this uh, when I first got it up and running, it makes a horrible whining sound constantly through the speakers, through the audio output, it's kind of like an interference noise. No matter what power supply or batteries or anything you use it with, it's worse with switch mode power supplies. I'm running it off a little transformer power supply, a little 9 volt supply. Um, and the 680, which is basically identical, um, save for some changes in ROM, but the hardware well, the hardware is identical, does exactly the same thing. Uh, it does it through, as I say, the speakers, the audio out. So if you try and record it, especially with a lot of compression, by these things, um, then there's a horrible whining noise, uh, it's just all over everything. Yeah, you can filter it out or process it, but I'd rather it not do it at all. Now, my first thought was, is it something I've done? Is it because of the repair? Uh, it's making this horrible noise. Apparently not. Uh, this is a known condition uh, of the 680 and 780. They did it from brand new. Weirdly, the 580 and the 480 and below don't do it. Even though they're much the same architecture, there's something electrically uh, which is different. And even more strangely, I was surprised to find, it has been acknowledged online that they have this problem, but it's I can't find a fix for it anywhere. Um, so I'm going to take it on myself at some point to uh, to have a look to see if I can make one up and if I do find out how to do it um, I will make a video about it because as I say I can't find anyone uh, that has actually solved this problem even though it's been acknowledged now even stranger I was using this yesterday and I put it down as it is there for a moment while I made a cup of tea and I don't know if you can see the process light on the BBE unit is blinking on and off which means there's a signal present so I thought, oh I must have left one of the drum rhythms going no, I haven't it's completely silent but notice the uh, stereo chorus lights on what I've discovered especially if you wind up all the bass is it's got a heartbeat if I bring the gain up uh, just here on its input it's got a heartbeat. <laughs> it's like Pink Floyd trapped in a keyboard. If I turn the stereo chorus off, it stops. There's also some grounding oddity going on there. But the stereo chorus it gives it a heartbeat. <laughs> now that horrible trebly whining noise I don't like at all but the heartbeat's kind of cool now if I try and get rid of the whining noise will the heartbeat go with it who knows but again I've, I've never heard anybody acknowledge that fact before um, the whine yes but the weird heartbeat no so just there's, there's an unusual thing I just wanted to make a quick video about maybe I should use it um, maybe it's going to tell me it's not frightened of dying. I I really don't know, but kind of dark side of the PSS 780 there. There we go. Cheers.